If you want a beautiful yard, don't go to one of those places that have a plant section. Go to Corbin Creek Greenhouse. Plants are all they do. Corbin Creek Greenhouse has been dealing with plants for generations. Their friendly, knowledgeable staff will answer all of your questions, whether they're simple or highly complex. So when you're ready to take down the neighbors with the best landscaping on the block, you want Corbin Creek Greenhouse. They're located at 4920 Highway 161 in Springfield, 384-3185. This is Jim Ball reporting in Greenbrier. If you live in Greenbrier, then you have a brand new fire chief. That's him on the left. His name is Kyle Hamill. On the right is his father, Jimmy Hamill. If that name sounds familiar, it should. He is the fire chief for Springfield. He became the fire chief in Springfield uh, just a couple of years ago, and now his son has been recently promoted to fire chief for Greenbrier. So we have father and son, both fire chiefs, both right here in Robertson County. I'm not generally a guessing man by nature. But in this case, I am going to guess that you're probably very proud of your son. I sure am. His mother and I both are very, very proud of him. And that probably makes you feel just a little bit silly. Not too bad. Not too bad. But Some people say that you look a little alike. I'm sure people watching this video are probably casting their own opinions now. But uh, there's certainly something to be said about father and son. Now, you've told me about a photograph that was taken when he was very young and you put a firefighter outfit on him. How, how soon was it that he got the bug to be a firefighter? It was probably at that time, or the first time his mother brought him to the fire station to see me when I was on duty. How old would he have been there? Uh, probably three or four, maybe. So you actually beat your dad to the punch. Um, so do you attribute some of that to the early training you got from your father? I think so. I think it's always been a lifestyle, uh, just going up there when he was a fire captain and just seeing him with his, his guys on shift and, you know, being at the fire station with the trucks and everything. It's just a, a lifestyle I, I always wanted, I think. so. To me, it's impressive that you're both doing this and in the same county. I mean, I could see, you know, my son in Fresno, California is also, but, you know, you're, you're right here serving. And in some instances, I don't know what the arrangements are, could you ever end up on the same call at the same time? Is that possible? Yes, it is. Uh, we, Springfield, uh, provides mutual aid assistance to all the fire departments in the county. Actually, we're statewide. And uh, there's, we're also, we're not immune from uh, needing the city of Greenbrier and all the other county fire departments uh, countywide in case we have a major event. Uh, so there is that possibility, um, you know, it could happen. Well, here's a $300 question. If you both showed up at the same incident together, and it was just uh, Springfield and Greenbrier, no other teams there, and you're both there simultaneously, who would assume command? Chief Hamlet would. Well, well it depends on where, where it is. If it's in the city limits. Uh, so it be geographically it, based. Yes, exactly right. And uh, if it's in Greenbrier, he is the incident commander. And if I'm there, I ask him what he wants me to do just like any other, you know, department. And you are a, a, a career firefighter. I mean, you've, you've, your whole life you've been a firefighter. Yes, I, since I started when I was 18, um, 18 years old, been there uh, here, same job since 1976. Can you tell me about the process of becoming uh, the fire chief for Greenbrier? What did they put you through? Well, um, I, I started here in 2005 as a volunteer, and in 2009, um, uh, I was given the, a part-time position just during the day when I was off duty from uh, Gallatin Fire Department and uh, uh, as everybody knows we had you know the previous chief was removed and then and um, there was a vacant position and Chief Souter our assistant chief or excuse me our deputy chief he took over as interim chief for a, a period of time and uh, they offered it to me and and uh, I was honored to accept it and we we had to make sure it would work out for both sides and I think it's it's going to be done very well so tell me a little bit about your background and training um, well um, I've like every other firefighter in the state I've gone through excuse me the basic fire training at the fire academy uh, the live fire training um, vehicle extrication training I'm an emergency medical technician um, hazmat training all the all the the rigorous things that every firefighter has to do, I've, I've gone through. And uh, a lot of people are in the, the Vol State uh, Community College Fire Science Program. I graduated with an associate's degree with that. 
and uh, so I'm just following kind of the the pattern that every firefighter does so and you have commitments to other fire agencies as well so you're not you're not 100 percent Greenbrier what are the other agencies uh, Gallatin Fire Department and that's my my full-time job and uh, and this is a part-time job here but just as it's always been we've relied you know on the firefighters here and that's that's what that's who makes up the Greenbrier Fire Department is is our firefighters and I think my job is going to be to you know lead the department in a you know forward successful way and uh, keep relying on them and that they're doing great so it seems like Greenbrier of course and Springfield has a, a good track record yes we do I think um, we've had we've had some since the first of the year we've had several building fires and uh, and I think have done well on, on every one of them given what we had on I mean every one of them are bad obviously because a building's on fire but we have uh, we've d have had a good response and uh, have done well with it these are good stops is that the right term most of them yes sir yeah we uh, that's when you know you're looking at what's going on and you're trying to size it up and keep the firefighters safe but also do what you're you were brought on the scene to do is put the fire out in the fastest way possible and oftentimes that's that's going inside and, and putting it out now I've, I've heard your father here use the term attack just attack the fire is that the similar is that the way you feel about it just attack the fire yes in, in a smart way and that, that comes with training and experience and um, we're lucky right now that in the fire service in general there's been a lot of uh, new new training regarding building fires that everybody can take advantage of it's made me, me feel more comfortable when I arrive on the scene of a fire of what we can safely do and what we can't do so I think that makes us more aggressive and smarter so well I'm I'm sure and I'm sure the residents of Greenbrier are happy to have you on board and I'm sure we'll see that by their comments below did you two have anything else you'd like to say to the community did you um, I'm like I said honored to have to be in the position I'm, I'm proud of our fire department and the firefighters and uh, they've got a really good group of dedicated uh, men and women that, that serve here and so they should be proud of their fire department well we're lucky as a county to have you both thank you. you very much well right. there you have it Robertson County I just thought you'd like to know that amongst the high caliber emergency response teams that we have here in the county uh, two of them that are uh, local chiefs are also uh, father and son and ready to serve your needs when you get yourself into trouble. If you're viewing this report on our main website, then simply scroll down to see the interview we did after Jimmy Hamill first became uh, fire chief for Springfield, or you can wait for the upcoming commercial to end, and uh, a link will appear on your screen to see that interview. This has been Jim Ball reporting for Smoky Barn News in Greenbrier. When you're facing a medical emergency, time is critical. Every minute matters. And today, time is on your side because Northcrest Medical Center is ready 24-7. We have the experience and expertise to act decisively and the leading edge technology crucial for life-saving surgery, letting you get back to the life you love. Northcrest Medical Center, bringing exceptional care to our community.